things related. If the asteroid belt ever got it together, how large an object would it be? In other words, would we have another planet or would Neil end up putting it in the dustbin like Pluto? <laughs> People still haven't gotten over Pluto. No, they, no, they never All right, were. so a couple of things. All right. If you look at the distances between the planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, mm -hmm. Jupiter, there's a huge gap between Mars and Jupiter. Okay. And people are saying, there should be a planet there. Right. Let's look. Yeah. This is in the 1700s. Let's look. There's got to be a planet there. And we discovered a planet there. We discovered planet Ceres. And then Pallas and Vesta and Juno, the first four planets discovered in the asteroid belt. If you look up in 1805 textbooks for how many planets there were in the solar system, it was Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Pallas, Vesta, Juno, and uh, the fourth one. I forgot what. So they would count as planets until we said, wait a minute, they're all in the same place, and but, well, they're kind of different, and they're really small. They're kind of rocky. They're not planets. They're asteroids. They're star-like. Asteroid. Oh. Star-like. Star-like. Because they're tiny dots of light, just the right. way stars are, except they have nothing to do with stars. People presume there was a planet there. They found these fragments, and they were very excited about that. However, if you take all those fragments and glue them together into one object, mm -hmm. you get something about 5% the size of the moon. Well, that ain't a planet. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah. That ain't even that a moon. That was never a planet. That ain't even a moon. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? It was never a planet. Right. 